name is Loey Lane, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about my new podcast, Internet Urban Legends, with my BFF, Snitchery. We deep dive into the darkest corners of the internet to uncover whether some of the most notorious web myths are hoax or whether they're con. Internet Urban Legends, available exclusively on Spotify. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello. My name is Loey. I'm back with you guys today for another scary side of TikTok video. I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of my like haunted side of TikTok videos, but when I started off this little series, I guess you could call it at this point, on my channel, I really would only talk about the scary side of TikTok as a whole. Now, obviously, years later, we're blessed with so much freaky content from TikTok that I've kind of had to divvy it up. But the reason I love these videos is because it really lets me show you guys what scares me. What I am scrolling through my TikTok for you page and seeing that sends a chill down my spine. It's impossible to do these videos without you guys though. You always tag me in your scary finds on TikTok. So give me a tag at LoeyBugXO if you ever find anything interesting and spooky you want me to talk about in a future video. Also, and, and don't comment right now. Give this some time to sink in. I really want you to marinate on it. Do you guys prefer when my videos are like, today I'm gonna be doing 11 TikToks. Do you prefer when they're a little bit quicker like this so that I do them more? Or do you like when they're really long like the Diego Spikers video that I just did that was like 30 something TikToks? When you figure it out, watch this video, then let me know down below, please. So the first TikTok I was gonna talk about today was going to be a different one, but I think it's important that I spread the word on this. Somebody tagged me in this video and I just feel like it's my responsibility to let you guys know about it because it's truly terrifying not like a bump in the night or a little you know sneaky face in a window this is very real and very very scary and this is the type of information that can save lives people are being tagged with bizarre shapes that let other criminals know how safe or unsafe it is to rob their home. Mr. Jamie Nyland is the creator that I saw talk about this and he explains it really, really well in this video. If you see this marking outside of your house, you need to get help. Burglars are using these symbols to represent which household you are. Alarmed, nervous, burglared before, vulnerable female, too risky and nothing worth stealing. And they're drawing these symbols outside their houses they're planning on going to. These are known as curb codes for burglars. And even the police are telling you guys to look out for these markings outside of your home. So if you see any of these markings, you need to call for help. Now, when you see these symbols, there are actual like meanings for them. Like they are real road work symbols. However, people were saying you could see them pop up next to your water heater outside and other locations. There are times when you probably will see something like this that it's completely innocent. But if you or someone you know sees one of these shapes or symbols pop up outside of your home, the police are like actively warning people about them in certain areas. So I just wanted to let you all know about it. Stay safe out there. The next video comes from the TikTok user, Google the Curious. Now this is a fascinating account where this person goes through Google Earth and just finds the creepiest places that have been documented and shows them in a TikTok. In this video in particular, we seem to find ourselves at a kind of an abandoned structure. Someone is literally seen staring at the Google Earth person or car or whatever it was over the bushes. Someone else is slumped as if they are like passed out up on a balcony. And one more person can be seen within this abandoned structure wearing a mask. And inside it's somehow scarier. At first I thought this was like a house when we were looking at the outside. So I'm not sure if it's the exact same or if it's just in close proximity, but this appears to be a hospital or some kind of a facility. It's obviously crumbling and the walls are tagged with phrases such as no hope and perfection. What truly caught my eye though, is this absolute monstrosity that you can see at the end of the video. It's sitting in front of an abandoned computer and it looks almost like horse-like. I have no idea what this is or if it's supposed to be a prank or something. If you recognize this, let me know down below. And also, should I do an entire video of creepy Google Earth finds? Because this TikTok account is a gold mine of just weird, weird places. Next, we have a few videos from the TikTok user Lexi Ray. This was a multi-part TikTok saga that was going on over the course of like the last month or so. Tons of you tagged me in these videos and for good reason. 
Lexi comes on camera in her very first video to state that there is a mysterious red liquid seeping out of her walls. Can anyone help explain to me why my walls are bleeding? I've lived in this house for 20 years and suddenly last night, my cabinet starts to bleed. I open the cabinet, it's not coming from the inside. There's crap on here, but it's not blood. That's not cabinet blood. So I close the cabinet, look underneath, and it's just kind of a starting point of blood. But the wall is definitely bleeding. This is straight out of a horror movie. Sure enough, when she shows us the cabinet, it's bleeding, baby. There is like blood coming down from the cabinet. My first initial reaction was like, how could this possibly be? There has to be something in the cabinet that's obviously leaked or gone bad. Or maybe this is like paint that was underneath her old paint or something just seeping through from humidity. I don't know, but I needed to find out because I don't like the idea of walls just randomly starting to bleed. And that's basically how this entire thing seemed. There's no exact source for this, but there is a lot of it. So much that it has pooled into a tiny little puddle on the counter in the next video. Welcome back. It's day two of the Bloody Mirror saga. As you can see, still bleeding, haven't fixed it yet. I had shit to do last night, so here we are trying to do it today. So bees and rust was the most commonly said, well, here's what it probably is. And I realize we're here for the drama and the fun, but if it really is bees, um, how do you all suggest I unhinge this and clean it off? Lexi states that most people's guess were bees in her wall, that bees can produce this kind of liquid or that bees in walls are somewhat common when it comes to finding weird substances leaking out of your walls. That was quickly debunked, however, when Lexi took the cabinet out of the wall, only to find no bees. It's not even that there were no bees in the wall, there was nothing, not even a source for the bleeding, just more evidence that it has in fact been seeping through the walls. The bleeding wall is still bleeding and we don't know where it's from, but it's not from inside the cabinet and we had a bee expert message me and it's not bees. Luckily, however, we don't have to wait too long for a conclusion because the bleeding wall saga was wrapped up in this video. Long awaited and overdue, but we finally got to the bottom of the bleeding wall mystery. So we decided we were gonna put the cabinet back in the wall. Mystery unsolved, we don't know. When we went to take the cabinet back, we noticed that there were pieces of metal that I didn't really see before that were, you know, overlapped. And there was a little bit more of the coagulated blood in that corner. And of course, my dumb doesn't think that there's space in between the metal sheet. So I, blase fair, the first time I saw it said, that's where it clumped up the most. And so of course it wedged in between the crack. Enter my brother saying, we should investigate that a little bit closer. You guys. We oh. think we found it on the inside of the metal. Holy shit, I think we found it. Look, all that gooey goodness oozing right there from in between the metal. Gross. So it's rust mixed with condensation seeping out of old metal. It would appear that a piece of metal somehow got wet and then rusted inside of this part of the cabinet. And the rust along with the condensation was the liquid that was bleeding out from the walls. So mystery solved, I guess, and not all that scary now that we have an answer, but how freaky was that? Like when I was looking into all of this, the entire time I was just like eyeballing every single wall in my home. Like y'all better not start Please, I have enough to deal with without a bloody wall. Although I guess it would be free Halloween decoration. But I totally understand why Lexi posted it and why all of you tagged me in these videos because it was truly, truly a horrifying sight to behold. From Mookster38, we have a video that realistically could have gone in another one of my haunted side of TikTok videos, but there's something really weird about this. The poster is filming his bathroom and at first I couldn't understand what he was like so freaked out by until he turns on the bathroom lights and we see a shampoo bottle floating in the air exactly where it should not be. I got up to go to the bathroom. What the f is going on in my bathroom? What the f 
What's that bottle in here for? What the f***? Hello? Who's in there? What the f***? What do you want? I can't even breathe right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. What the hell? Show yourself. Nope. As the poster nears the shower, the bottle drops and he immediately runs outside, simply stating nope, which is an appropriate reaction, I would say. I would probably have the exact same one. But it freaked me out because what in the world is holding the bottle like that? Is that paranormal? Is it like a ghost taking a shower, just bumming some shampoo? Or is this something a lot darker? Then we have a TikTok from user Ripley with two L's, who alarmingly has not posted since this TikTok went up, but also the poster doesn't seem like they posted much to begin with. This was also not a very like popular TikTok. Only one of you had tagged me in it and it doesn't have that many views. That just goes to show you that you guys so easily influence these videos by tagging me in your favorite scary finds. I find stuff that nobody else is really talking about. Anyway, back to the TikTok. It's something that looks like it came straight from a horror movie. In the caption, the poster explains that they were on a holiday when they found this weird tunnel and the lights were on and the door was open to this little like tunnel thing down below. There were like stone steps going down into this tunnel. And so she decided to explore. When she peeks in, however, we see something just completely unexplainable. It appears to be multiple people, one of them standing unnaturally high to the point that it almost looks like they're suspended against the wall, stretched across it in an unnatural position, while the other person looks like they're looking directly at the camera. This isn't a viral video, like I said. It has like 3,000 views at the time of posting this. But I don't know how to explain that, and I don't know if anyone else does either. I have no idea what that was and I think that that freaks me out more than anything. Like if people are just hanging out down there, I don't know, even sitting on the ground, fine, weird, creepy if you're not expecting it, but it looks like one of them is like up on the wall, like with their arms out like up on the wall. It very, very weird. I hope you agree with me on that because this one creeped me out maybe more than anything else. Now a few videos from Pisces Princess 06 have gone viral in the wake of a truly bizarre incident she has experienced while living alone in her Dallas apartment. What happened to her is horrible and very, very, very real. And she moved out immediately, she's safe. However, this is something that like, is the stuff horror movies are made out of and it's just what women often go through just existing. I feel like I said this about the last TikTok too, but this is what horror movies are made of. This is the most viscerally scary story I've ever heard in my life and you just have to hear it for yourself. Okay, POV, my dad is literally here. POV, you literally live here and you realize someone has been coming into your apartment when you're not here and running things on your mirror wall. My dad is here helping me emergency move out and you had to literally break your lease and you have to find, uh, no, I can't even, I can't even describe all this story. Okay. Someone came into my apartment and was running things on the wall. I've been having a feeling someone's been coming in for months because things would be mysteriously moving around and I, nothing is ever out of place ever. And things would move around and that was red flag number one. And then I realized it was writing on my mirror. So someone's been coming in and then I realized my pepper spray is missing. My one weapon, my friend was here over the weekend and she saw the pepper spray. She pointed out saying it's smart, you keep it by your bed. And then, for, and then randomly last night when you were trying to frantically pack up your stuff to Uber to your parents' house, it was gone. So clearly someone was freaking watching me because I'm so easy easy to watch because I have the same routine every single day and my windows are um, down when I'm gone. My windows are up when I'm here. My dad went outside to see how easy it is to look inside my apartment from here. Literally looked me directly in the eye, literally waved. He said, you can see me from my, fr like he could see me sitting at my desk where I sit all day. So someone clearly has been sit coming in here. I don't know how long it's been happening, but I had to break my lease and now I frantically have to pack up all my stuff and then move out and then find another apartment to move into within a few days Days while I'm supposed to be doing all this freaking work at work. To recap her experience here in the best way that I can, 
Her belongings are teleporting across her apartment. They're moving around. Her pepper spray has vanished and somebody wrote something on her bathroom mirror. This is really serious to the point where she is breaking her lease and moving out of the apartment with the help of her family. Like she has gone to the police, they are working with the police and she explains this in the next update video. So I didn't even get the whole story in there. So let me just backtrack a little bit. My best friend was coming in town on Friday. So I wiped down all of my mirrors um, Friday afternoon because I do that before every single visitor comes over because I'm a neat freak. Anyway, um, which means, so I found this at like 9.30, 10 p.m. the writing on the mirror. Um, like 9 30 10 p.m on um monday which means someone had to have been in my apartment between friday and monday i had three visitors come over between those time periods that time frame and i called all of them and i was like did you write this on the mirror because if not i'm calling the cops right so they would have fessed up right away if because the cops were involved who wants to go to jail not me not them so um, we, and everyone was wondering, why didn't you call the cops? Why are you busy filming a TikTok? Are you kidding me? Why I was there, we were waiting for the cops for like five hours. They never showed up, but they're going to show up today. We're going back. Um, I'm going back with my whole family. We're packing up my whole place. Um, and everyone was wondering what the writing was on the wall. It was, or on the mirror, it was a phone number. The apartment complex can only release footage from the apartment to the cops themselves. So it's not like the poster can just get a hold of it and identify the guy and like put it on TikTok. It has to go through the proper authorities. She also speaks more here about the writing on the mirror and why it was so weird because she had literally just cleaned her mirrors. A lot of people were saying, you know, maybe this was your friend trying to freak you out, but I feel like the friend would have fessed up before the poster literally uprooted her entire life to leave that apartment breaking a lease, which is always so expensive and has repercussions on your future leasing options. Not to mention getting the police involved and stuff. Like if this was just a little gag, between a friend, even if it's like a childhood friend, which she explains in this video as well, that this is like a really long running friend of hers that she's known her whole life. Somebody would have said something before it got to this point, at least you'd hope so. Also, in case you wanted to see the writing, you're in luck because before she moved out, she filmed the bathroom mirror and showed us exactly what was written down. Okay, I'm gonna try to show the writing on the wall, but it's it's hard to tell, I mean, the writing on the mirror, it's hard to tell, because it's like when you're writing on a dirty car, like on that window. Um, so it's like smeared on, but you can see, so it starts off, hold on, let me turn the flash on. Okay, you can see how it starts off with five, if you can, okay, it's so hard to see, five, um, and then it goes seven, and then it goes one, and then it keeps going with all these. I don't want to do the full phone number because I don't want anyone to see it and then call the number or text the number. I don't know what the number is. I don't want anything to do with it. So that's the, that's where the writing is. That's the phone number. All incredibly, incredibly scary. Such an insane breach of privacy along with an actual crime. I cannot imagine how scary that must have felt and I am just wishing her all the best. I highly doubt we will get like new videos from this story anytime soon since it is an active ongoing investigation with police, but sending my best wishes to this poster and to her whole family because that is just awful, truly, truly terrifying. I really just feel awful for her going through all of this and it seems like, at least from what she said, she's going to be a lot more cautious in her upcoming homes about showing literally anything at all. This next TikTok, I guess could be from true crime TikTok rather than just the scary side of TikTok, but it's a story I'd never heard of and one that really freaked me out. The story is told by swamp underscore witch underscore and she talks about a very prominent true crime case regarding a child going missing in an area with a specific name that sends chills down my spine. So y'all are just not gonna talk about the little kid who disappeared within like 50 miles of Skinwalker Ranch? Well, I'll be happy to take the reins on that one because you know how I feel about unsolved mysteries. 12-year-old Garrett Bardsley disappeared in the Uinta Mountains August 20th, 2004. Garrett and his father, Kevin, woke up around 8 a.m. on a Boy Scout camping trip. There were a total of 18 scouts and six or seven adults along on the trip. They headed to a lake for some fishing and Garrett managed to soak his shoes, socks, and pants. Understandably, Garrett didn't want to wear wet clothes, so he told his father he was going to go back to camp to change. The rest of the Boy Scouts were up a hill only 150 to 250 feet away. After 20 minutes, Kevin was wondering what was taking his son so long, so he went back to the camp and asked other boys if they had seen Garrett. 
and nobody had. A huge search of the area with hundreds of official and unofficial searchers started, but they only found a Nike sock belonging to Garrett. The sock was damp and crumpled up like Garrett had taken it off like he was going to get changed, which was in line with what his father said. Hundreds and hundreds of searchers looked for Garrett, even on horseback and using dogs, but no other trace of him could be found. Garrett's sock was half a mile away from where he disappeared in a granite boulder field. Authorities working this case believe that Garrett went into the boulder field trying to find shelter from the cold weather. Because of the mountainous terrain, the temperature dropped to around 18 degrees the night Garrett vanished. Police and Garrett's family do not believe that an abduction took place because there was no evidence of such. And at one point, they said they don't believe Garrett made it past the first 48 hours that he was out in the wilderness. What is strange about this case is authorities and Garrett's family pretty much wrote off a mountain lion attack and a bear attack. They said there was absolutely no evidence, no trace of blood, no clothing, nothing of Garrett's to be found. Yet they also said an abduction was unlikely. And Garrett was not the only person to disappear in this area over the years. What do you think happened to him? This case is so scary and something I really want to look into more. It appears as though Garrett really did just disappear without a trace, and both police and the parents don't believe there was an abduction of any kind. It's ultimately really sad and heartbreaking, and I send so much love to the family of Garrett and all of those that were affected by this because I, it's just unimaginable. Lastly, we have a TikTok from XOXO Sam who explains in this video, I can't play the audio because it's like a copyrighted song. She explains that she was just out on an innocent shopping trip with her mother when she sees that her mom has called her. When she asks her mom, did you just butt dial me or something? She didn't see her mom like put her phone up to her ear or anything. Her mom says, no, I left my phone at home. In the comments, the poster explains that she was way too scared to answer the phone when all of this happened, and honestly, I would be too. Maybe the ghost was just looking for a little chat while the family was out shopping, or maybe it wanted to give its input on what kind of decor would best fit the home. No matter what, this is a weird one and a super creepy way to cap off this video. There you guys have it, 11 TikToks from the scary side of TikTok that I think will keep you up tonight. Today's stories were a little bit darker, a little bit creepier, and I think that that's really what the scary side of TikTok is. It's real life things that feel like they could happen to any of us, captured in the moment in real lives by people just like you and me. And I'm thankful that we're so interconnected with them that we can now talk about these stories on my channel, but it's also really dark to think about the amount of real life things happening to people at all given points in time that could be our own worst nightmare. So to balance out a particularly dark, scary side of TikTok, I urge you all to go give a hug to those that you love Call someone, tell them that you love them, send out a text, just do something good today to remind people that you love them because when the good is good, we have to take advantage of it because, you know, life is a big cycle and we can't appreciate the good unless things are also bad. Not to say any of this kind of stuff is gonna happen to you guys, just, you know, trying to give a little bit of love here at the end of this video. If no one has told you today that they love you, I do. That's gonna be it for me today though and I wanna say a big thank you to my subscriber, Blazed Goddess who I love. She became a member of the channel during a recent stream, so I remembered her, and then I saw she commented on like my very first YouTube video ever, which had my cat Alex in it. He was my mom's Maine Coon that passed away last year, and I got to send her this clip of him in this video of both of us from almost like 10 years ago when I started this channel. It was really special. If you guys wanna join my channel memberships, I do members only content, including videos. I also do like members only polls and updates on future videos. If any of that sounds good to you, you can hit that little join button. It should be somewhere around the screen, probably next to the sub button. We would love to have you. For now, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you very, very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.